Welcome to this series of videos where we talk to Dr. Warren Corns, who's Research and Technical Support Manager at PS Analytical, about uh, mercury and the various issues to do with mercury in the environment and analysis of mercury. So perhaps you could explain a bit more about atomic fluorescence spectrometry and why it's used for mercury detection. Well, atomic fluorescence is a two-stage process. Initially, it involves the excitation of atoms to a higher, higher energy state, and this is done by the use of an excitation source, such as a uh, lamp. Once excited, the atoms lose their energy, um, either by re-emission of the light, which is the atomic fluorescence that we uh, need to measure, or alternatively, can, they can lose their energy due to quenching, which is a type of collisional deactivation of the excited mercury atoms. Atomic fluorescence is uh, often used for mercury. Um, for in this case, uh, we have a mercury vapour discharge lamp, which is used to excite the uh, mercury atoms. Um, mercury is unique because um, uh, it's atomic at room temperature, so we don't actually need a flame or a plasma to um, produce the atoms. Um, the mercury um, lamp that we use emits light at 254 nanometers. Uh, this excites the ground state mercury atoms to a higher energy state. And then when they fall back to the ground state, they, emis they emit light at the same wavelength which is also at 254 nanometers. And this type of uh, fluorescence is called resonance fluorescence. And it's the most um, intense fluorescence that we can generate. And therefore, uh, it's used analytically to provide us the best sensitivity. Atomic fluorescence is proportional to the lamp intensity. And we're very fortunate to have highly intense mercury sources that we can use to enhance the sensitivity. Uh, it's also very selective because uh, the um, fluorescence that we generate is specific to mercury only. Um, so we don't really have any other chemical and spectral interferences. The other advantage of atomic fluorescence is that it has a um, very wide linear dynamic range. Uh, we typically get at least seven orders of magnitude, which is um, superior to other techniques um, that are used and that allows us to um, analyse a very wide range of samples containing different mercury concentrations. <laughs>